Hey everyone, it's Brother Mario. I wanted to go ahead and record a video here to let you know some pretty good news. The cyber-stalking, slanderous, defaming YouTuber who has been literally victimizing me now for over two years with this type of behavior, uh, the YouTube channel has been deleted by YouTube. And I was let know by some of the you subscribers that you went ahead and let YouTube know what he was doing. And because of this, the YouTube channel has been terminated. So first of all, thank you so much for the subscribers. And second of all, I wanted to talk about this problem on this platform and in this community. Now, for those of you who don't know, there are rules to YouTube. They're called the community guidelines. And in fact, what he was doing is illegal. We'll talk about that in one moment. Uh, but here you see that you are not allowed to pro put out hateful content and threats. So harassment, intimidation, uh, invading privacy, revealing one other's personal information, etc. And uh, this type of stuff is not allowed here on YouTube. So I'm glad for once YouTube actually did the right thing and deleted his YouTube channel. So this means that he is now banned from ever creating YouTube videos ever again, and he should be. What he was doing is def defaming me, lying, slandering, cyber-stalking my friends, cyber-stalking my family uh, in a very obsessive manner. And for many years, YouTube was not doing anything. So he has been removed, praise God, and thank you so much for everyone who uh, reported him uh, to YouTube so that they could take the proper uh, course of action. Now, I just want this to be a warning to any of the YouTubers who are creating content that he created. You better be very careful defaming, slandering, and lying the way that this individual was. Now, first of all, it's a legal activity. I'll give you one example. He, in a recent video, and this is why I believe they deleted his YouTube channel, went as far as saying that young boys that I mentor, okay, I'm, I'm, I love to uh, try and help young men be everything that they can in the Lord, and he had went as far as uh, trying to say that there was some type of pedophile activity, that I was somehow molesting these boys. That is called defamation. In a court of law, for you to make a public statement on a YouTube channel with 20,000 people like that against a public figure without any evidence, you are going to be charged. And I could have easily taken him to court and charged him. But I'm glad his channel's gone and I'm not going to have to take that course of action. Now, Casper, in the future, we will flag you and we will always, if you try and come back, which you shouldn't because you're a Christian man and you should go by rules, uh, you aren't allowed on this platform anymore. Your activity was criminal. It was, in fact, very sick. There's no other way to say it. And wrong. You need to be careful, YouTubers out there, who slander. Okay? This is not right and is not led by the Spirit of God. You cannot just make up assumptions and put out these type of videos. They're not allowed to be on this platform. And for a long time, they were left there. But I'm glad that YouTube has taken action. And just don't do this. This is absolutely ridiculous to fall into the trap of doing these type of activities. It's not something that real Christians should do. Now that moves me to the next piece of this video here. And that is, Casper, I completely forgive you. I have no hate towards you. Um, I am obviously hurt by the, the, the lies and the things that you've spread about me. And for a long time, there was a grievance, mentally, emotionally, even spiritually, that your channel produced me. You created over 500 videos slandering and lying against me. But I have been forgiven of my sin before my Savior, and I fully forgive you. I have no hate towards you, and I've asked the Lord to release me of any type of bitterness, anger, or resentment towards you. I really do pray that you will find Christ because I do not believe that you are a born-again Christian. I believe that your salvation is non-authentic and that you're not saved. And I am praying for you, and faith family, please join me in praying for him. The Bible says to pray for our enemies, and this individual set himself out to be an enemy against me. He focused on the destruction of my personal life more than anything he had going on in his life. He would literally spend all the days of his life, and he probably has not stopped this, but now he can't do this on YouTube, has been just trying to destroy, in a very sick, evil way, my life. 
in any way, shape, or fashion that he can or could, and went as far as doing illegal, illegal criminal activity like slandering, lying, defaming, which is, again, criminal activity. So, Casper, I do forgive you 100%. I do pray for you, and I wish you the best in this life, and I pray that uh, you would be born again and that the fruits of the Spirit would be produced in you. But this is just a great way to highlight the sickness of what I consider to be a problem here on YouTube. People who use the banner of Christianity to do this type of activity. It's never going to stop and people are going to continue to false accuse me. But this was like next level. You know, if you want to biblically rebuke me, that's fine. Make a video on why I am not right using Bible verses. But you do not need to make slanderous lies up in order to turn people against me by trying to defame my character. Again, that is completely illegal, and Casper, I could have took you to court for that. You had 500 plus videos that would have definitely shown that you were doing this type of activity with the, the purpose of trying to destroy my image publicly, uh, and that is just classical textbook defamation. But anyways, everyone, I have forgiven him. But I do warn you guys, if you do see him trying, and I'm sure he's probably going to try to come back to this platform to continue engaging in this behavior, that you advise YouTube right away. Uh, those type of videos have no place here, and he has been banned, so he has no right to be back on YouTube. I'm thankful that the channels are gone, and that the over 500 slandering videos are now washed down the toilet, gone. Uh, because they should have been. YouTube should have never allowed, because of their policies here, this type of harassment to take place. Uh, taking the personal information of my family members and making them public when they themselves are not public figures, slandering, lying, all sorts of stuff like that. So I just wanted to let you all know about this. I'm thankful. And uh, Casper, I wanted to let you know as well that I have forgiven you. And I just wish you the best. I really do. Uh, that's a hard thing for me to do, uh, but through you and this experience, I've grown in patience and love, in mercy and grace. So I thank you for that, and I thank God for using you to help me to be more like Christ. It was not always easy, and many times because of this harassment and attack towards me, you guys got to see the worst of me, but I'm glad that this is no longer being accepted on this platform. So, just a warning to anyone else out there, like I said, that does this kind of stuff, you're going to get caught at some point. It is completely illegal. If you want to make a video and say that you believe someone is false biblically, go ahead and do that. But when you cross the line, like he has, it's wrong. It's in fact illegal. It's criminal. And you call yourself a Christian? We will know them by their fruits, Jesus clearly said. So that's it, everyone. The power of forgiveness is an amazing thing. And there you go. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Stay vigilant and fear no evil.